Okay. Let's say there is a person that helps you with things of God, as in teaching you, so on and so on. Okay. Let's say because of that person, you choose to serve God. Okay. We see John chapter 6, verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. So, in short, it is God the Father that draws people unto Jesus Christ. But I believe God can use people to get others to serve him. So it is not by the power of the human, but by God's power. Okay, to make this easier to understand, let's say because of the person that is helping you, let's say you choose to serve God. Okay. Let me say this. Let's say the person that helps you, let's say you find out that person's past. Okay. Let's say that person that helps you, let's say that you find out that person fell into sin. Let's say you find out that person gave up on God. Okay. What are you going to do? Are you going to give up on God as well? Huh? Are you going to go back to sin because of the actions or the past of the person that you admired? Are you? Listen. As humans, let me say this. We have to be focused on Jesus Christ. The way that other people are serving God, how can I say this? Our salvation, man, our salvation should not be focused on other people. Meaning, hey, if that pastor is not serving God, I am not going to serve God as well. It should not be that way. Well, since Uncle Kev is having sex out of marriage, hey, let me do it as well. Don't do that which I am not. I am not having sex before marriage. <laughs> Let me say that. If you find out someone that you have admired that was serving God or something like that, Let's say you find out that person is not a man of God or woman of God. That doesn't mean you should give up on God. F 
from my understanding, we are going to be judged individually. I don't believe you can tell God, well, I stopped serving you because, hey, Uncle Kev was over there doing his own thing, so I thought that, hey, I can do the same as well. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> oh, man. I don't... <laughs> I don't believe that is going to work. <laughs> no matter how many people stop serving God, that doesn't mean you should stop doing it as well. Keep on going even if you are the only one that, I guess, how can I say that? Never stop serving God no matter what. No matter what you see. No matter how many people are doing it or not. Don't base your salvation on anyone. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ per se. If anything, base your salvation on Jesus. <laughs> Not on any human. Let me stop here. God bless you.